Welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. 3 Minute Thursdays are a short breakdown of topics that you will see within your flight training here at UND. The goal is for you, the student, to have a better understanding of what it takes to become a safe, professional pilot. Hello, my name is Tyler Lauer. I'm a lead flight instructor at UND Aerospace. The flare is the apex of a perfect landing. There is no better feeling than greasing your landings. In this video, we will discuss how to better understand the flare and consistently roll them on. Believe it or not, setting up for the perfect flare starts during pre-flight. Many of you are wondering how. One simple step during pre-flight will ensure that your eyes are in the right location. If your seat is too low or too high, your sight picture will be very inconsistent, and so will your landings. Position your seat so that you can just barely see over the glare shield. You should be able to see a little bit of white from the cowling. This will help many of the VFR maneuvers you will practice while you pursue your certificate, as well as setting you up for success on landing. Now that your seat is in the perfect position for the flare, let's talk about what the proper sight picture should be. There's no surprise that the archer likes to land flat. Even on the ramp, the archer sits nose high. Most of the time, the airplane taxis at about four to five degrees nose up attitude. This is with the nose strut compressed. If we take this knowledge into the flare, we know it will take extra effort to get the nose up. To ensure you are not landing flat, you will need to get the nose between eight and 10 degrees pitch up. This means during the flare and touchdown, the cowling will be touching the horizon. If we have done everything correctly up to the flare, we should be decelerating through the low 50s and within a few feet of the ground in a level pitch attitude. Once the aircraft begins to sink towards the runway, we must get the pitch up so that the cowling is touching the horizon and maintain that sight picture until after the touchdown, which will require a constant increase in back pressure. I tell my students, if you can see the runway during the touchdown, you will be landing flat. I know this may seem scary, but we have a lot of tools to help us maintain centerline. Use your peripheral vision to help judge your height above the runway as well as your position. Take a lesson from tailwheel pilots. They use the size of the pie to help judge their position on taxiways and the runway. Here's your friendly reminder about crosswind. Just as I said during the round out video, we need to potentially be adding more correction. Our goal during the flare is to touch down with the main wheel on the upwind side first. If you are flying in a crosswind, you should never be wings level during the flare and touchdown. The round out is all about timing and the flare is all about sight picture. Today we learned what the proper sight picture is during the flare in order to ensure a proper landing attitude. Tune in next week for the final video in our landing series as we cover the touchdown and rollout. Thank you for watching 3 Minute Thursdays. If you have a topic that you would like to see covered, please comment below. As always, fly safe and we'll see you on the flight line. If it's flat, it's unsat. <laughs>